three Stuart steam plants, boiler works, part three. Looking at the fittings in the acid after 24 hours, I notice that the acid is not the same colour. Most of the lime scale has gone. I rinse all of the parts in a tub of water and then dismantle the fittings to remove all traces of the aluminium washers. This job was difficult and required a lot of patience. These parts are easily destroyed if you are too heavy handed. Here's a magnified image of the parts in what was previously acid, looking very tarnished. And just in case you didn't see the previous episode, this is what the acid looked like because I took it from my acid bath, which is fairly contaminated with copper salts. I filled a plastic tub with cold, clean water, and I'm going to use this to rinse off all traces of the acid. One by one, I examine the parts and put them in the water. First of all, removing the aluminium washers. This is one of the safety valves, and although it doesn't look much cleaner, technically it is. The lime scale has gone and what's left looks to be in quite good condition. I thought I would show the very dangerous operation of removing aluminium washers from steam fittings. I use a Stanley knife blade to lever off the washer from the component. The next part of the job I'm worried about. I need to remove every one of these inspection plugs, and they are very small, but with the help of two of my Barco spanners, the first one came away okay, and here I've just removed the aluminium washer. These parts need to go back into the acid. As you can see, there is still some lime scale present on the threads. And once again, I'm removing yet more of the aluminium washers. I was actually quite surprised as to how easily some of these inspection plugs came away from the main fitting. I was really worried they would just shear off, but thanks to Barco spanners with their very wide jaws, they didn't. They came away okay. Well, most of them did. Barco spanners are very precisely made. In some situations, you can actually use them as clamps. Another dismantled fitting goes into the water. This is one of three siphons for pressure gauges. The other two are unserviceable. This is the check valve unscrewed from the 504 boiler, and I don't think this one is going to be quite so easy to dismantle. The two back or spanner method didn't work, it's too big. So I'm putting it in the vise in between two pieces of brass angle so I don't mark it. First of all, I try to loosen it using a spanner and there is no chance of this happening, it would just break. It's top tip time. When I cannot undo bolts, I use a combination of WD-40 and heat. And in this case, I'm using my very small Proxon blowtorch with the part in the vise, as you can see, and I'm heating it so I can remove the top cap. You can see milky coloured water running out from the inside. And it appears to be fizzing a little bit, so the acid's still doing its work, removing the lime scale from inside the check valve. After heating the part, and I don't mean to red heat, just generally making it too hot to touch, I used a spanner, and once I tapped it gently with a hammer, I was able to remove it successfully from the top of the check valve. This fitting is not just a plug. It's shaped to limit the travel of the ball valve inside. As I remove it, you can still see oxidisation around the edge. This once again is from the aluminium washer reacting with the other metal. As I mentioned in the previous episode, all washers will be replaced with copper ones, which don't seem to have the same problem. Now I need to remove the inspection plug, so while the part was still hot, I rotated it in the vise using a pair of pliers. And once again, owing to the thickness of the jaws of my Barco spanner, I used this to completely remove it without any damage whatsoever. After this, once the part was cool, I screwed the inspection plug back into position, but not all the way in. This is going to go back into the acid bath for a bit more lime scale removal. Somewhere inside this is a stainless steel ball. As this part is now cool, I had to use the spanner once again to remove the top plug. The metal looks to be in very good condition, considering what it did look like. 
I removed the aluminium washer and I was curious to see how bad the stainless steel ball was inside the unit. I'm not going to reuse it, I was just curious. As an experiment to see how clean I could get it, I put it back in a little pot of acid. Along with the other component parts of the check valve which definitely need a bit more cleaning. And now for a bit of ultraviolence. The bottom water gauge fitting on one of the boilers had a problem. The glass was firmly stuck in there and even soaking it in acid didn't dislodge it. The only thing I could do was use an Allen key to smash it to smithereens. The glass was long gone from the top water gauge fitting but it was really stuck in the lower one but now it's not, it's gone. Today has been a very pleasant surprise. Most of the parts have fared very well dismantled without destroying them, with the exception of just one of the plugs in one of the lower water gauge fittings. This sheared off very easily, it was badly corroded. No problem though, I'll drill it out and re-tap it 3 16 by 40 threads per inch. Altogether a good day, and that's it for now. Stay safe, stay healthy, thanks for watching, and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Mainsteam Models website and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists you can actually watch the videos back to back.